Namaste students. Now we are in the we are in the seventh chapter that is statistical quality control. In the last session we studied about what is what is the uh, what do we mean by quality and what what is statistical quality control and what is quality control and how we need to in what stage we need to apply the statistical quality control methods. We are applying two uh, stages that is when when production is going on and one once after completing the uh, production means when finished or semi finished goods or products is av available in our hand. So we studied about and we also studied there are two kinds of variation in order to when we find the defects in a particular product we uh, find out two kinds of variation and that variations are nothing but one is variables and attributes and one more causes for variation is that is due to chance causes and due to SIT causes. So all these things we studied in the uh, previous session. Now let us move towards the control chart. And you are in this particular uh, in this particular chapter, you are going to uh, study how to draw the control chart one thing, then how to draw the limits for that control chart. Now firstly we will see what is a control chart. Control chart is a graphical device which is used to study and verify whether the production process is in statistical control or not. We are we yep. are we are verified here whether our production process, the production of particular product is going on, and this process whether it is under statistical control or not. If it is under statistical control, what product we get? It will be qualitative product. If it is not under statistical control, then our product we may find some kind of defects in our product after the production of a particular product. So. Control chart is a graphical device. So graphically, we find out or we represent that whether our process is under control or not. And this control chart, it consists of three horizontal lines. This control chart consists of three horizontal horizontal lines. It's very important. And they are first one that is Central line, central line, we denote it as capital C dot F. Then second one that is lower control limit, lower control limit and we denote it as L C L, capital letter L C L. Then third one and the last one that is upper control limit that is upper control limit we denote it as capital U C L. This is about three horizontal line. Uh, with this three horizontal line we find out whether our production process is under control or not. Now, for example, I just draw a, a control chart. How we do you know, uh, these three lines in case of chart? Y axis and X axis. Now the X axis we represent subgroup numbers. Subgroup numbers here and here along the y axis we represent averages. We represent averages here. Now firstly we have to represent the central line that is this is the central line then above the central line that is with the dotted line, dotted horizontal line, we represent the upper control limit. Upper control limit. And below the central line, once again, with the dotted line, we represent lower control limit. That is lower control limit. So this is the central line. Upper control limit and lower control limit. So, what is central line then? It is the average quality. No need to write, we are not writing this in the 
graph, this is, this I am just writing what is central line. Why we are drawing central line? It is average, average quality level. That is central line is average quality level. Not below also, not above also. On average quality will be maintained in a particular product. That is that is that 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 particular central line it shows. Then lower control limit it is minimum minimum acceptance variation minimum acceptance variation from average quality level. From average quality level. Minimum acceptance variation from average quality level that is lower control limit. Then what is upper control limit? That is maximum. That is maximum acceptance variation from from average quality level. Average quality level. So, what is this minimum acceptance variation level? The minimum, this is the minimum line. Your, if any plotted points, if it comes below this line, means we are concluding that our production process is not under control. And this is the maximum acceptance variation. The minimum means your variation can come up to here. Variation means your, your product is not up to the standard what we define. But we can accept. Till here we can accept if your product is slightly three points like variation in minimum it should have variation till here. Below that if it comes that is not a qualitative product. So we can conclude in any point. See if we plot here, one point will come here. Then we are concluding our production process is not under control. Now within this if it comes, yes our production process is under control. So it is a minimum acceptance. Variation. The area limit if we find variation, we can accept. So, minimum acceptance level is lower control limit. Maximum acceptance level. Maximum acceptance level is upper control limit. See, it is the average quality. If it, if it goes above this, then it is a very good quality. Quality of product is very good. Now, below this, if it comes S quality, it is okay. And if it comes below that, this lower control limit, it is not accepted. That product is not at all accepted. So this is about the control chart and it has three horizontal line that is central line, then lower control limit and upper control limit. And also this control limit, it has two types. Control chart has two types and those are there are Two kinds of control charts. So types of types of control charts. There two types. One is control charts for control charts for variables. And one more control charge for attributes. attributes. Control charge for variables and control charge for attributes. What is that control charge for variables? What is variables? In the last session I have explained what is a variation. Va variables. Variable is a, a measurable. Variable is a measurable quality characteristics which vary from unit to unit. It is a defect of a product, but we can measure it. For example, volume of product, quantity, thickness, if it is lesser than the standard, we can measure. And attributes, it is the quality characteristics which we cannot measure. For example, scratches on the phone and the improper the reflection of the mirror. So that is called attributes. So, which are the control charts we use to represent the variable which we can measure? Which are the control charts we use to represent the attributes which we cannot 
equation. Now we will see this or the control charts for variables and control charts for attributes in detail. Now, as I said, there are two kinds of control chart. One is control charts for variables and one more is control chart for attributes. As I said, variable is the which we can measure. Variable is the uh, quality characteristics which we can measure. There we use in, in the first one control charts for variables. In order to find the or uh, uh, monitor the variable, you will, we will use two kinds of chart. That is X bar chart and R chart. X bar is nothing but mean, it is average. R is nothing but the range. And here, X bar chart, it is used, it is used to, it is used for average quality, to maintain average quality level. It is used to maintain average quality level. And here, R chart, it is used for, used to control the Not 
that we need to find out. That we need to find out. Standards are given means these will be given directly in the problem. Just apply this. Just apply this limits. Not given means this also we need to find out using formulas. Then these things also we have to find out. That is in case of control limits for x bar joint. Then we see control limits for r char or l joint. Here also control limits are given me three that is single line lower control limits and upper control limits. Here how your limits we have in case of standards are not given D2 and standard deviation dash. This standard deviation dash will be given in the problem and in case of lower control limit D1 standard deviation dash and D2 standard deviation dash. That is in case of standards are given. These standards will be, you will be knowing these standards. Just apply in the same, just multiply. In case of standards are not given, here standards are not given, here it comes average range, then D3 into average range, D4 into average range. Or like a X bar, it is a R bar. Is nothing but average range. So when you observe this, as I said, here standards will be given. In this case, standards are not given. Then where there is signal also, it will be not given. You have to find out. Now how to find out where? Now see where. This you know, x bar you know, it will be given in the problem. X bar is nothing but sigma x by L. Then one more x double bar that is x double bar is equal to sigma x bar divided by k. Then next one more thing average range is equal to sigma of all the range divided by k. Then what is k here? So k is equal to Sample number, sample number, or number of samples, number of samples, or subgroup numbers, subgroup, subgroup numbers. See, here K is nothing but Y you will know that number of observation. Sample number, number of samples or subgroup numbers. Sample number means what? What is the difference between number of samples and sample numbers? Number of samples means when it will be given like this. For example, 4 by 1, 4, 6, 7, 8. So, number of samples, how many number of samples? 4 number of samples. Sometimes they are mentioning the problem. That is, sample number, sample number 6 or sample number the size of 7. Such time you have to take sample number as 7, where number of observations will not be given. So, anyhow, this is sample number where what sample comes, and along with that, which number will be there, that you have to take as k. And if you observe here, here it is a, a1, a2, see there, those are the constraints, that is a, a2, then here d2. Then D1, D2, D3, D4. D1, D2, D3 and D4. These are constants. These are constants. Constants are obtained from obtained from the statistical table. From the statistical statistical table. And in order to obtain these values from the statistical table, you should be knowing the size. Here, sample size will be always. Here, sample size will be always it is 4 or 5. Sample size will be always it is 4 or 5. If you know the sample size, either it will be 4 or either it will be 5. You can obtain these constants from the statistical table. In statistical table, there is, there is one 
separate table for statistical quality control constant weight I will show. Here in the 431 page, in the last page, here one table is there that is statistical constants for control charts. Statistical constants for control chart is given here. Statistical constant for control chart. Here sample size 4 and 5. Only two sample sizes are there. That is 4 and 5. Which will be given in the problem. If in your given problem it is a sample size 4 means. Then you have to find whichever constant is required. That you have to find here. Values are given for sample size 4. What are the values of A, A2, D2, D1, D2, D2, D2 D3, D4. For sample size 5, down. So only two sample sizes will be there. That is 4 or 5. This is about control limits for x bar chart and r chart at any cost you have to study. Either you have to buy her or any of you have to should be knowing these two charts. Now two more charts will come in case of control charts for variables. Now let us see control charts for attributes. Sorry, not variables, attributes. Now we will see control charts for attributes. We can see two kinds of control charts for in case of attributes. What, what is attribute? As I said, attributes are the attributes of quality characteristics which we cannot measure. So then we can find N P or D chart and one more that is C chart. N P or D chart and C chart. Here N P or D chart we use to find we use to find number of defect units. Number of number of defect views and C chart we use to find number of defects. We use to find number of defects. What is the difference between defect and defect views? If if an item has the more than one defect, then we call it as defectives. If we find many number of defects, then we call defectives. And our single fault in a particular product is a defect. It's a defective product. So, NP or D chart it is for, to find out number of defectives and it is number of defects. So, two charts we are using. Now, we will write the control limits for NP or D chart. Firstly, now we have control limits, the first one. Here it comes N capital letter P dash. N capital letter P dash. Then when it comes lower control limit, N capital letter P dash minus minus 3 root of N P dash and Q dash. P dash and Q dash. Then for upper control limit, same thing. N P dash plus 3 root of n p dash and q dash. This is about when standards are given. When standards are not given, here n, here small letter p, that is like x bar, p bar. So, in case of lower control limit, n and p bar minus 3 root of n p bar q bar p and p bar and q bar then in case of upper control limit n p bar plus 3 root of n p bar and q bar so here see here what then what is this p dash p dash is nothing but the way the way p dash is the fact proportion defective proportion defectives or fraction defective fraction defective of a sample equal to this if in a problem if you see the word proportion or fraction defective and particular value will be given that we have to consider as p dash that we have to consider as p dash and how to find out p bar here p bar is equal to that is 
sigma b that is total number of defective units divided by n k divided by n k what is that n k the number of observations in a sample of k that is i write here it is total number of total number of defective units divided by divided by number of observation number of observations in a sample of the sample of the sample k number of observations in a sample k that we understand by when we get for the form so here firstly the dash and no formula for this is this is just we need to identify with the center fractional defect is or double defect is that is the this formula will not be given in the problem a table will be given we need to find it. so this is about the control limits for n p or p chart now one more control limits we write that is c chart c chart we use to find out for uh, number of defect so how it comes in the sense in case of standard chart defect Lambda dash and in case of this uh, lower control limit, lambda dash minus three root of one second lambda. We are also same thing, but we have to add it. This is the standard chart given and standard chart not given. Sorry, the <coughs> standard chart given. If we come to a standard chart not given, that is C bar. And for lower control limit, C bar minus three root of C bar. And upper control limit, C bar plus three root of C bar. And here C bar. What is this lambda? Lambda is it is average number of average number of defect. Per defect per number of defects per unit and c bar by c bar is equal to sigma c divided by k. That is total number of defects divided by the sample number. Total number of defects divided by sample number. What is c? It is nothing but average number of defects. Average number of defects. That is total number of defects divided by One total number of total number of defects divided by sample number. Sample number that is average number of defects divided. See the main difference is you have to see average number both are average number of defects. The problem average number of defects if any particular unit per unit means per meter per meter per centimeter or per liter. If such Such kind of units if it is mentioned, then it is lambda. Then we have to consider as lambda dash. That is average number of defects per unit. If any uh, units of measurement is mentioned, if units of measurement is not mentioned, then it is c bar. So this is about your control chart. So there are four, there are two kinds of control charts. That is control charts for variables and control charts for attributes. In case of control charts for variable, we are drawing two kinds of chart. That is x bar chart, which we use to maintain average quality level, and one more r chart range that is to maintain the variations. And if we come to what the control chart for attribute, then further we use two kinds of chart. First one that is n p or d chart, that is for number of p 